Hello and welcome to episode 13 of the Smash Ultimate Mod Workshop. Today we'll be covering basic movement and teleportation. This episode is going to serve as more of an introduction, and episodes 18 and 23 will have more efficient ways of doing some of this. I'm focusing on Posture Module and some of its functions today. Pause X and Pause Y give the X and Y coordinates of a player. There's also Pause Z, which is how far they are from the screen. There's also the functions Pause and Pause2D, which return the position of a player as a 3 and 2D vector respectively. And lastly, to actually set a player's position, we can use set pause or set pause 2 d with a vector. If you don't know what a vector is, I'm so sorry, please talk to me when you finished high school, but in the simplest terms, it's just a ray from point 0, 0, 0, or just 0, 0 for a 2D vector, to the specified point. As an example, this code makes Palutena's down tilt save a position, and up tilt will teleport her back to that position. This code uses some more complicated mechanics, so I'll explain them real quick. These are actually three global variables that I'm storing the x, y, and z coordinates of Polly's position in. f32 denotes the type of the variable, so it's a type of float. 0, 0.0 is the value that I'm setting it to, and 8 is the length of the array. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why, why do I need an array? More than one player can be polyutena at the same time, and if we just used one variable, then both players would try setting it, and since a variable can only be one number at a time, it would get messed up. This way, we've made sure that all eight player slots have their own variable if they need it. Down here, what's the stuff with entry ID? We're just getting the number of the player. So if this code runs on player one, the entry ID will be zero, and the position will get saved for only player 1. If it runs on player 2, then the entry ID is 1, and it only gets saved for player 2. Also, why is the vector defined like this? Well, most of the time, vectors need an ampersand in front of them, and then you need to specify the type of the vector. Since they can either be vector 3f or vector 2f for 3 and 2d vectors, and then inside these curly braces, we need to specify what the x, y, and z position are. And lastly, why am I using pause x, pause y, and pause z instead of just using the pause function? Well, that's because pause can be unreliable at times, plus it's easier to manipulate individual parts like this. Let's say I wanted to move Palutena 5 units to the right when I do this as well. I can literally just plus 5. And I'm done. That's super hard to do when you have a vector, and not all of its parts. And now in Smash, if we do down taunt, we'll save a position, and if we do up taunt, we'll teleport back there. We can change the position, and teleport back again. If you want to learn more complex applications of it, I'll be going over this in much greater detail in episodes 18 and 23, so I would highly recommend you check those out as well. As usual, the code that I just wrote will be available in item 1 of the description, and I hope this helped! Happy modding!